What's it really like to live in a $52 million Dubai mega mansion? Today we're going to find out by touring this one behind me. I'm Matt, you're watching the Luxury Home Show, and let's start this tour. The villa is situated in Dubai Hills. We have incredible views of the fairways, lots of greenery around, amazing villas. Now, I think perhaps this is the best one though, and it's with thanks to Nesta, who has his own YouTube channel out here in Dubai. We arranged this video, so you can go check his channel out in the description below. Now, let me tell you, this place comes to life at night. So for the full exterior tour, we're gonna come back later, and now I'm gonna meet you at the front, and let's explore inside. Here we are at the front of the property. I mean, what about that for an entrance? We're gonna go through there in a moment where I have a special guest for you. Now, the villa is at the very end of a no-through road, very private, driveway that side down to the most insane underground garage, 12 meter columns as we come through. This is a water feature that actually looks down into the basement where there is an incredible swimming pool. Let's continue towards the front. Look at the size of these plants. And what's nice is the villa is very much built around this area, so so much natural light comes into all of the different windows, and most importantly, the basement. The entrance is separated by a three meter onyx smart chip and pin door. We don't need the pin today though. Hi everyone. I can't wait to show you inside this villa. Come on in. For the new viewers, I'm Summer, and I'm going to be showing you a little bit around this house. So with this villa, the grand entrance really is the courtyard out the front. And then as you come in through the doorway, you've got travertine stone all around. You've got sandblasted travertine on the walls and a polished travertine on the floor. Now this is one of my favorite living spaces. You've got 12 meter high ceilings with four huge windows bringing all the natural light in and a floss chandelier, which is definitely a staple piece in this room. And then all this furniture is from two Italian brands called Minotti and Visionaire, which are super high-end brands. But coming into the next space of the house, this is sort of a separation area from the kitchen and dining space. One of my favorite features is this ribbed marble effect on this partition wall. So you've got the travertine stone here and then this ribbed on here. Over to my left, we have a gorgeous feature wall with marble shelves. And just behind me, we have the office, which has a really cool Ferrari engine on the wall. Now we're gonna pass it over to Matt and he'll show you the dining room. Welcome to the formal dining area where we have a 12 seater table in the center. Incredible views outside via the sliding doors. Quite intricate and unique details in the ceiling, the way it's been sandblasted and they've left insets up there. We also have the surround sound system. Now, as we move through, we have pocket sliding doors just here, taking you in to the breakfast room. A little bit more casual, being that this villa is located on a corner end plot position, you really do have expansive views all around. And again, look how amazing this chandelier is. Let's make our way into the kitchen, and Summer and I are gonna both join you here. <laughs> how amazing is this space? Yeah, I mean, this isn't even one, this is just one of the kitchens. There's actually a whole other chef's kitchen through that door, but this yeah. is spectacular. What's everyone's thoughts on the colour? You've sort of gone for like a mint green grey, would you say? Mint green? Make yeah, I'm not green. seeing the green personally, but I love the grey tones. I'm seeing a bit of green. I'm not sure why. <laughs> okay, well, let us know in the comments. Is there any green going on here? Does anyone want a lemon as well? There's quite a lot of lemons. Certainly well. enough there to do some juicing. Now, in here we have Gaganau ovens and then mm -hmm. induction hob. I found something you would like, Matt, over here. Got the Gaganau coffee machine. Oh, and nice. they like your morning coffees. Yeah, do you want to make me one? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> Over here, actually, if you want a cold coffee, we have the, uh, I think it's like a knock-knock fridge. Yeah, there we go. Full of stuff there. No, it's just touch. <laughs> <laughs> Again, pocket sliding doors through to the commercial kitchen, chef's kitchen, center island, huge fridges over here, but that's not all for the kitchen. So there's a few more things I want to point out. You've got the basin in the island, and then I also want to show this cool kind of larder unit. I think that's what it's called. Actually, maybe it's just a cupboard, but we've got some groovy shelves in here that I wanted to show everyone. Over here, 
we have a wine fridge. One of the most gorgeous marbles I've ever seen. It's sort of like a red maroony tone. Do you think this moves, Matt? I have a feeling this may move. Yeah, depending should we on... try it? There's a button there, but that, look, there's an up and down. I think that's just for the... Try it? That's no, the temperature, that's right? the temperature. Yeah. I feel like that would be quite a cool feature, though. If you wanted something at the top and it would move yeah. down. Yeah. Maybe it does that, or it definitely should. And then on my left, there's actually a powder room for this area. So I'll briefly show you that now. Again, certainly sticking with the travertine theme, as you can see in here. Now, question for you. This travertine, what are your thoughts? Do you think there's too much, not enough? Let us know. Now I'm going to take you into the office. This place is very cool. Come on through. So here's a staircase upstairs. That's the secondary like staff staircase. It's not even the main one. Come on through. Check out this office. What an amazing place to work. Views to the courtyard on my right. Access out via sliding doors. Very bright. In the area where Tom's backing into now, lots of shelving, TV unit. Now, if you're a car lover, then this could be the house for you. Not just because we have the Ferrari SF90 Stradale engine here on the wall. Have you ever seen a piece of art like that? You can actually have your two favorite supercars in this part of the garage. Now this lowers and goes up and down via a remote. So you can drive in the driveway through there, take your cars onto here, and then down below in the basement, there's a huge garage, but you can have your showpieces here. This is incredible, isn't it? Yeah, very cool. Very car themed, because there's also a Formula One car over there. That is true. And so everything that you can see in this villa comes included, even the Ferrari engine, if you purchase this place. And then finally, there's a balcony out there. Could you put that back in a car? Uh, I guess, <laughs> yeah, if you're, maybe. Could we build a Ferrari? Should we try and build one? <laughs> <laughs> through the entrance where we started the tour. Oh, we're coming into one of my favorite spaces. Actually, I think I say that about every, every space, but I do love a piano, don't I, Matt? You do, why don't you give us a tune? If you've been following for a while, you'll know our outro theme song. Insert a little bit here. No, but it's not the same song. No, but you... Um, oh, wait, I'm in it, it. yeah. Yes. Okay, let me... Give us a tune. Go. This is a 1864 Petrov grand piano. This is the only song that I know how to play. <laughs> Dance for me, Matt. <laughs> All right, Summer, show us the chandelier and we'll carry on the tour. So this chandelier is from a brand called Haberdashery. Pretty impressive, right? It is. It's eight meters and it goes all the way down to the most amazing basement. Can't wait to show you that. Swimming pool, Can't cinema. Wait. <laughs> Before that, let's go this way. I'm going to show you some more of the living area. Behind Tom, we've got some more glazing so you can access outdoors throughout there. Look at the size of this plant. Everything on this house is just huge. Speaking of that, fireplace over here, gas fireplace with the marble surround. Absolutely beautiful. Feature wooden wall here and then three different seating areas again the travertine floor continues throughout here you'll have to let me know which is your favorite style the big sofa there the curved one or this slightly more cozy space here then finally we have the bar over here three bar stools really nice spot the calcutta marble here with the shelving and another amazing chandelier let's meet summer and go downstairs Just before we head down to the basement, I just want to point out, we do have a ground floor bedroom with a gorgeous ensuite, We've got a walk-in wardrobe, and also there is a separate powder room for guests. Now we do have a lift here. I'll head down in the lift to the basement and Matt will take the stairs. Meet you down there. Welcome to the basement. This is certainly one of the best parts about this property. Over here we have the tropical plant scene, oak veneered wood behind there and some very interesting artwork. Little fruit ninja. <laughs> now let's go check out the bar for the um, movie room. Yeah, so this is the cinema bar. We've got some candy and a popcorn machine. I think I'll quickly get some gobstoppers before the movie. I've never actually had one of these to be fair. Oh, that was quite cool. <laughs> And while Summer's doing that, this worktop is Calicutta Viola Marble. It looks beautiful. There's another bar just around there as well. So we've got some candy. Should we head into Let's the movie room? Wow. 
This is so cool. <laughs> <laughs> These are very comfortable. Come up here. All right. This is a gorgeous cinema room, isn't it? Great size, huge screen, soundproofing. Yeah. <sighs> oh, quickly, I'm just going to nip to the toilet before the movie starts. OK. Oh, I also have to show you guys the amazing sink basins in this powder room. Come with me. This is like going to a really fancy hotel. These sink basins are black marble with a really unique taps and this gorgeous backlit marble behind the mirrors. OK, I'm going to go to the toilet now. Bye. Oh, what a good movie. That was really good. Yeah, that was a nice nap as well. All right, let's carry on the tour. We're going to go into the gym to wake ourselves up. Beautiful natural light coming through. These are quite cool. Really top of the range techno gym equipment. Now you have direct access outside from here as well by these sliding doors. So I can just open that up nicely. And let's step outside for a moment. Appreciate this beautiful tree here, some seating around it. We then have the water feature and above that is the infinity pool. Continuing through here, again, look at this doorway separating the space here. That's the same as the one on the other side. We're gonna go into the garage, which is just beyond those glass doors. So you can light that space up, look through there. Let's go in now. So welcome to your underground garage. Now, what do we have? One, two, three, four, five parking spaces. So you have to let us know in the comments what five cars you're having with this mega mansion. You also have two EV chargers there if you want electric cars, although it's Dubai, so the fuel's really cheap. Up there is your access onto the front driveway and how you leave the property as well. And let's go check out the spa. All right, let's continue exploring this basement. We have yet another bar here and the Calicutta Viola Marble continues. What an incredible setup. You'd feel like Bruce Wayne hosting an event down here. And talking of that, here is the Joker, a very interesting art piece. Let me know your thoughts on that in the comments below. Finally here, we have the staff staircase and the staff bedrooms. There's even a kitchen in there, and that's also where the utility is. And now someone's gonna show you the spa. Come through this cool black glass door into the swimming pool and spa. So you've got dual showers, a steam room and a sauna. And the best thing about this room is the skylight, which was the fountain in the courtyard that you saw at the start of the video. It's bringing loads of natural light in, which kind of makes it feel like we're not in a basement and we could sort of be outside, especially with all the plants. We've got some groovy chairs on the side. Now heading back out, there is one last living space that we haven't seen down here. We've got the TV on the wall, a really nice electro plated bronze finish fireplace. Um, quite cool seeing that curved. Now we've got a, the bedrooms to see. We haven't gone upstairs yet. So I'm going to head into the lift and show you guys the bedrooms. Okay, so on the first floor, I want to show you the principal suite through here. We've got a pretty grand entrance with this huge pivot door come through to the sort of reception area of the main bedroom with a balcony. And Matt and I actually came here the other day and we saw some deer run across the um, golf course, which I thought was pretty nice to see. The sandblasted travertine walls follow from the ground floor up to the bedrooms. You've got a pocket sliding door into the main area with this gorgeous bed and this curved headboard which I thought was quite unique. And again, you've got a balcony in this room, speakers throughout and a recessed ceiling. Now we're gonna head through to the dressing rooms. You've got one on either side, so two in total, both equal sizes, so no arguments on whose is who. Now through these pocket doors, we have the ensuite. Kind of a beachy theme in here. Really unique sanitary wear from Gezi in rose gold. And there's also two showers Two dressing rooms, two sinks, we just need two toilets. Okay, let's head back out and meet Matt in the next bedroom. Leaving the principal suite, just opposite, we've got another spacious bedroom with a gorgeous ensuite and a walk-in wardrobe. This is actually such a great spot to appreciate the views out onto the golf course and also check out this floss chandelier again. So we're gonna move along this area. Now we have a nice cozy seating area just below the travertine staircase. Come through this side, all of the proportions of this home are just insane. Like, look how big this hallway area is. 
perfect place to sit, do some work, again, some more reading. And we're gonna go into bedroom two through the pivot door. All great bedrooms have their own living area as well, just like this, access onto the balcony. And you'll see when you look at this room compared to the one Summer showed you, it's slightly different in style. It has the curved finish, which is similar, but different materials used there. Again, just amazing views outside. Got some golf buggies whizzing around Sunday afternoon golf. Now, let's move through to what is the dressing area. Lots of natural light coming through there now. The curtain's partially closed, so it's a little bit dim, but this could be very, very bright. And then if we come on through, this is a good time for me to actually explain how the lighting system works. So it has these touch pads here, and you can very conveniently control all of the lighting in each room, just like we did there, to bring on the lights. Now we could also light the chandelier up as well. Tom's gonna hit the chandelier button, and boom, there we go. Center island in here, loads and loads of storage space. Could you fill all this? Let me know. Now, pocket doors into the ensuite. This is one of my favorites. I think the design in here is gorgeous, straight out of a Pinterest board, freestanding bath with the bronze sanitary wear. Finally, we have a big shower around there, the toilet that side. Let's check out the next space. We're back out in the hallway where there's yet more storage either side of me here. We're gonna take you through to the next guest bedroom. We have the wardrobe section over here, a beautiful seating area again, really cozy couch, the bed, and then the ensuite just beyond there, and this has a nice side view. Finally, on this floor, we have two further bedrooms. Now, let's check out the roof terrace. the floating travertine staircase to the final floor. Now, this would be such a cool chill spot. It's got like den vibes because it's at the very top of the villa. You've got a big TV here on the wall. Perfect place, you know, to hang out with your friends, move you on, surround sound, and just going in and outdoor. And now, speaking of that, let's go check out the terrace. Wow, yeah, this is so beautiful, isn't it? Hey, yeah, it's incredible, especially with the sun slowly setting over there, we'll get a nice view of the sunset. I can't wait to check out this villa at night, so the sun's about to go down, and then we'll explore the garden with all the lights on. Oh, my favorite time of day to see the villa. I've been waiting for this for the whole tour. This is absolutely beautiful. The temperature is perfect in the evening. Amazing, the sprinklers have just come on on the golf course, so we're getting a lovely breeze with the cool air. So we're gonna show you around the whole garden. So we've got a couple of showers here, perfect for jumping out the pool, then hopping into the shower. They've got a few different areas of astroturfed lawn. And then let's check out this outdoor kitchen. Can you imagine having some barbecues out here? Oh, hell yeah. So they've built this outdoor area here. It's so luxurious, even though you're outside. This is interesting. It's like an oval island. Obviously, normally yeah. they're square. Then you've got the big barbecue in the middle here. Ooh. There's yeah. a cat. So oh. we've actually seen the kitten there and some wild deer not long ago as well. Come on, do you want to be in the video? <laughs> Come on. Nope. Bye-bye. Let's keep exploring. So from here, you can start to see more of the exterior architectural profile of this beautiful contemporary villa. It's an art form in itself, landscaping the exterior gardens of a villa like this, and it certainly is one of my favorite parts. I love the added touch of all the palm trees and the greenery because as everyone knows, Dubai is in the desert. You've got to add the touches of green. And the pampas grass as well complement the outdoor. So nice. Yeah. I mean, this pool color, let's talk about that. I think it's my favorite type of tile there. It's like Turks and Caicos waters there. I also love that they're shallow. There's shallow areas in the pool so you can have the sunbeds. And this is pretty cool what we're walking on right yeah, now. Yeah, I love these. Anything where you have like stretches of walkway over water. Yeah. They had this in the Villa by Valare or the Palm that we checked out not long ago. Very similar. And I love that they create it so it looks like it overhangs um, each side. Very I'd like cool. something like this to an entrance to yes. a property. And I can imagine just laying out on these sun lounges whilst the sun is there in the day, mm -hmm. getting warm and then just diving straight in the pool. Yeah, there's a little hot tub section of the pool. Got the stairs down here to where the gym was down in the lower ground floor and the water feature, they look amazing. Like you mentioned with the hot tub, I'll tell you what, when you have a swimming pool, but there are different areas incorporated within it. Yes. I mean, it's such a difference, isn't it? To having like an exterior hot tub and then a pool. Yes, I like there's a little seating area 
all around that little section. Very inviting. We've got another seating area up here too. I mean, we actually haven't got to the best part, the sunken area. This is beautiful. So Whoa. this is one of multiple waterfalls here at the property. <gasps> this would be incredible with like a, kind of like a party, you know, having yeah. drinks and music yeah. on. I love the design of this. It's absolutely tranquil. I mean, look at the size of this outdoor kitchen. This is somewhere where you're getting the chef in, you're hosting a huge party yeah. with all your friends. And it just, I mean, look at the amount of cushions on this fire pit. Have you ever seen something like that? I don't Take think I've got enough friends for all of this area. No. <laughs> Pretty cool though, let's go down. Let's just sit how we would, one of us at each side. Yeah, <laughs> you go to that side. Oh, you would need a really large pole if you wanted to do marshmallows. Yes, you would. You do everything fun. like gigantic scale, wouldn't you? Yeah, huge marshmallows and a huge stick. And what's nice about Dubai Hills, of course, is all of the other incredible villas you have surrounding. So as you sit here inside yours, you look across and there are loads of other amazing designs as well. So wrapping up the tour, let's talk about our favourite features of this property. Matt, yes. what were your favourite things? Well, we're here now, so it's convenient to say, but this <laughs> swimming pool at night and the views and just how incredible it looks like yeah. when the sun goes down, I think that's just, it blows, blows me away. It's incredible. Yeah, I totally agree with you on that one. My favourite room is definitely the front living room with the double height windows. Okay. I am obsessed with double height glazing yes, and all the natural true. light. So there we have it. Let us know down below what your favourite part was of this incredible villa and if you'd be interested in living here. We hope you guys enjoyed this house tour. We're finishing the video where we started at the back of the house because, I mean, it just looks incredible. If you've enjoyed coming along with us today, please give the video a like. We really appreciate it for the time invested in this video and make sure you subscribe to the Luxury Home Show so you can come with us here in Dubai and around the UK to see the most incredible homes. Thanks guys, see you in the next video. See you later.